I think it's going to be a very sad situation. I was going to ask you in particular about Justice Abela Trivedi because you, your letter has an entire section on uh, this thing called bench fixing and and the innuendo that if your case ends up with Judge A, you'll get outcome B, and if it ends up with Judge C, you'll get outcome Z. Justice Bela Trivedi has often been named, at least on social media, not so much on mainstream media, but on social media as somebody, uh, you know, where the outcome is predetermined to not get bail. In fact, there was even a whisper campaign that Mr. Kejriwal uh, changed his legal tactic because he was fearful that his case would end up before uh, the, the judge that you name. Uh, do you believe, though, that there is our country has always had a kind of judge-centric legal process, unlike the Americans, for example, where precedent determines what happens in court. Here, judges do have the leeway to apply their own very individual understanding of something, and it does seem to impact outcomes. That's the only question I have. How do you respond to that? I don't think so. We also have a precedent-based out outcome. We have a very clearly principle-based, and our judgments are founded on the basis of rule of law. An individual's judge's mindset can only be a, a factor, can be to the extent of a 2-3%. But uh, also in, the, in matters in the Supreme Court, say for example, take this specific case of uh, K. Kavita's before uh, uh, Kejriwal's matter came, it was heard by three judge bench. What about the remaining two judges? Okay, if one is biased, then what, what about the two? And here in this case, just as Sanjeev Khanna was reminded about uh, legacy, and he said that you have to go to the trial court. Today, Barkha, I mean, it's very common knowledge that if any person is arrested, there is a process of remand, there is a process of bail, you have to go to the trial court. Imagine, for every arrest, if people will start coming to the Supreme Court and the floodgates of Supreme Court will be opened on the so-called ground of Article 32. I mean, here, it is a failure of senior lawyers. They have badly advised Kejriwal. And when they have failed in the court to cover up their failure, they start uh, using the rule of law and they start uh, using the smear campaign against the judiciary. If you will ask me, Kejriwal is suffering because of the strategy employed by his lawyers. This senior lawyer, so-called, they feel it is their legacy. They can stand up in the court. They can use the seniority and get whatever orders they want. And it is there they are failing. And then they are started call, name calling the institutions. That is Let's the problem. Let's pick that point up. You say Kejriwal's lawyers have uh, have have failed, have fumbled, and then they're blaming the courts, if not directly via proxies. Uh, Abhishek Singh, we one of India's best known, have been uh, defending Kejriwal. Uh, what 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 mistake do you believe that the legal team of Kejriwal has has made? Okay, straight away. First, to come to the Supreme Court was the biggest mistake. Second, he was served nine summons. He was told that he's a chief minister. He can go on the uh, Vipassana, he can do any other thing, but need not attend the summons of the, uh, uh, I mean, enforcement directorate. You can call them uh, any names. You can uh, demean the institutions also. And uh, uh, you can like uh, just throw the summons in the dustbin. All such kind of advices, if he would have been advised, that go on the first day to the enforcement directorate and respond to the summons. I don't think the situation would have arisen. Second, you are not an ordinary person. You are a chief minister. You should go to the Supreme Court. Why should you go to the trial court? Trial courts are biased. High court, you won't get the orders. So tell the Supreme Court, we have no confidence in the trial court. We have no confidence in the high court. We want you only to hear the matter. Now, such kind of advices are very ambitious advice. They actually uh, put the trial court down. I don't think a senior counsel should behave in such a manner to... Uh, 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 apply such kind of tactics because at the end of the day, the trial courts are the courts of the first instance. That is where the common man goes, the faith goes. And when you make such kind of allegations and when you make such kind of arguments in the court, that's where uh, you uh, it's a bad strategy and you have failed in your strategy and now you have to go before the trial court. Now imagine, once you have failed in the higher court, the trial mm. court will say, okay, I mean, look at tactically. I mean, forget uh, BJP, AAP, everything. Tactically, if I failed in the higher court, which lower court is going to grant me the relief? Just look from the tactical.